Hey, hey there, Don Wilson here. I want to make you a short little video to show you how to set up a video remarketing campaign for if you're selling on teespring.com or any website similar to that. It's very simple, very short, very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it in just a few steps. I'm not going to leave anything out. So let's just say we owned one of these shirts. We're with a seller of them. Uh, let's do this gun niche one on the Discover page we've got here. We wanted to make a nice looking remarketing campaign. To do that, we would just look and see what we got we're working with here. We've got a few different styles. And we've got a front and a back shirt. You can have bracelets, jewelry, whatever you want with all these different pictures and styles. You want to grab enough of those to where you can showcase it in at least a 25 second or 30 second long retargeting video. It doesn't need to be anything very big. It just needs to make a video work really quick for them. So say you uh, this was your shirt. What you want to do is you want to go set up your retargeting pixel on your campaign. <clears throat> so to do that, I don't want to leave anything out. All you want to do is go into your business power editor. I'm going to blur some of this stuff out. Go to uh, audiences, and then you're going to click create audience. From there, you're going to go ahead and click uh, create the audience from people that have been to your website. It'll grab you a pixel code. I don't want to go into the technical pieces of this, but if you own this shirt back in the back end in your dashboard, you can put that pixel code up. As people get on there, <clears throat> it starts to collect a, an audience, just a remarketing audience, just like any other time you've ever done remarketing, whether it was with or without a video. Now to make the video, now that you've got that audience on there, all you want to do is say, okay, I'm going to grab this back, image one, let's do one, I'm going to grab this front, two. Now if you had different color variations, which a lot of shirts and different items do, yeah, it'd be even better. Let's let's go with the hoodie next. Just do the back of it. I think the hoodie looks really good on this one. There's a hoodie back. Three. And let's do the long sleeve. And that should be enough. Now what we also need to do is we've got to remove these backgrounds. Now there's tons of different software out there that they can do it. A lot of them are, are free. A lot of people are better at images than me that have Photoshop on there. But you can use Pixlr, you can use GIMP, you can use lots of different free things. Um, I use a, something called Clipping Magic because it works really well for me. So upload image. So you just drag and drop them. One here. I drag it. Green, green. And I download that. All right, there's one. Number two. Number three. And you gotta take those white out, or it just doesn't look good if you use any type of background um, at all. All right. And I could have done this faster, probably, but hey, this is my real time speed. I'm not the graphics guy on the team, that's for sure. So now we've got pretty much everything that we need. Probably take a little bit of that extra tiny little pieces of white that we missed right in here out, but you know, not a big deal. So. Let's just show in the folder, show in Finder, and then you got to find out, you know, where these are at, right here. So let's grab them, copy them, put them in this spot right here, so it's kind of in a spot where we can figure them out from. And then all you got to do is make your video out of it. Very simple, easy to do. Like try it now. Add pictures, Teespring demo. Um, one clipped. Two. And transparent will show up as black in these, but it's transparent, it's just how it is. Three. I feel like this is going to look really good. Four. All right, no animation or go to crossfade. Next step. There's... Hello, thanks for stopping by our site. We see you were looking around, but haven't made your purchase yet. Whoops. Now, each one of these will play kind of as you select the ones that you have in here, but I think what I've got selected is good. <clears throat> go to next step. I like the red one my, myself personally as a template background. Um, put the shirts that we've got in here. Um, a little taller maybe. 
All right, I think that'll look good. And click create video. Now it's making that video. We've got the pixel up on the page. Audiences are coming in. We've got those nice transparent background images. It just took a, a very short amount of time to make that video. Now it's actually building it. It's going to happen in the, in the background. So then you want to going to take that audience that's been building. You're going to advertise on Facebook. Click get video views. You click get video views. I'll just pick this one for example. It's not where we'd put this sh shirt, obviously. Then we'd go down. See how this is loading right here? It says custom audiences now. <clears throat> Excuse me, you click browse, and whatever you named your audience for this page for the retargeting would be in here. And then they can go through, target just the women or everybody most likely since they're all people that have been the remarketing audience. You go down through here, the video that this pops out, which is done right here, looks nice. You're going to download it there and then upload that video here. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this. Hello, thing. thanks for stopping by our site. We see you were looking around but haven't made your purchase yet. Whoops, maybe you got interrupted by watching cat videos or something. Don't worry, we get it. And we're still here for you. The product you were looking at is still here, waiting for you to grab it. Come back before it sells out. These work great, very sequential. You can go come back for a discount left in your shopping cart so you can do a cart abandonment sequences, all kinds of different stuff. And you can even upload your own voiceover scripts and you can get those made to where basically all it does is take a few clicks, wave, you know, maybe get a background gone so the image looks crisp and you got yourself nice video or marketing campaigns up and in Facebook in just a few minutes. And this would increase massive ROI on a campaign like that. But that's how to set it up. Everything was shown to you except for just putting the pixel in the back end because I'm not the owner of this actual campaign, so I couldn't show you that. But it's very step simple on that software, which you can click below, Video Retargeter, to go check out my bonus and the entire demo and all that stuff is available. It's great. I highly recommend that you do it. And I highly recommend that you do video remarketing campaigns in everything that you do no matter what. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you learned how to set up video remarketing campaigns step by step. Hopefully you apply that into all the campaigns that you do. And hopefully you pick up the video retarder software. And I hope you have a great day.